this is really quite shocking. And uh, <laughs> uh, well, first of all, uh, the graph uh, the graph uh, shows uh, what we call rise futures prices. So these are not actual prices, but predetermined prices for rice that will be traded at a future date. And uh, this is uh, something that also indicates that uh, uh, there will be a shortage globally. And you can see that with the increase of rice futures prices as shown by the speaker. Uh, so uh, it's not showing actual prices, but prices for rice that will be contracted or traded at a later date. And what this shows is that although there was a dip around May this year, you can see that it's also inching up as of the latest uh, data. So uh, I think it would be better to look at the actual rice prices uh, and based on the reports coming from the FAO as well as uh, other um, media organizations globally, uh, rice prices are at a 15-year high already as of August. And when it comes to the uh, claim of the uh, speaker, because he was claiming that um, uh, rice prices uh, have gone down already uh, because of the uh, price ceilings, however, it's only been two days since the implementation of the rice price ceilings. And there's no expected effect that if we impose a price cap local locally, it will have any impact on global rice prices. So it's really quite uh, absurd, actually. <laughs>